news out of the city of Philadelphia. We've been reporting for the past hour or so about what started as peaceful protest devolving into something beyond that. What you're looking at right there are two vehicles. We don't even know if they're police vehicles. We don't know if they're civilian vehicles. All we know is that they've been set on fire. This is after at least two other police vehicles had been set on fire in the midst of protests that have been going on for the past several hours. Of course, all this involving the death of George Floyd, an African-American man who died after a white police officer pressed his knee into his neck in Minneapolis, Minnesota. There have been a, there's a lot going on. Uh, this also comes after the statue of Frank Rizzo, the former mayor and for, former police chief here in Philadelphia, was set on fire. It was vandalized at first. There was an attempt to set it on fire, but as we saw earlier, that fire only went as far as the knee of the statue, but didn't actually catch because it is so massive and very it's concrete, I do believe. Let's go live to Action News reporter Annie McCormick, who's at the heart of all this with details on what's going on on the ground there in Center City. Annie. Well, Drew, we might have to cut out in a minute because there is a crowd of protesters headed our way. But I will tell you that we have been out here all day. Right now, we are on the east side of City Hall where we're seeing thick plumes of smoke. In fact, right there, Paxton is actually going to pan over where we're seeing that smoke. Those are at least two vehicles that are on fire. Those are civilian vehicles. I make the distinction between civilian and police vehicles because already today, a Philadelphia police cruiser and a state trooper cruiser were already set on fire. Now, at this point, it was around 4 o'clock, Walter, that protesters seemed to surround the MSB building, and that's when things really appeared to start getting out of control. They surrounded the MSB building. They were trying to get in. They were throwing things at it. For the police officers that arrived, they were throwing uh, items at the police, including a SWAT vehicle that actually pulled up in front of the MSB building with SWAT officers inside. They actually had to open up their windows and their doors to ward off those protesters. Um, they were using some sort of um, spray to spray at them to try to get them away from the vehicles. It actually got so bad at one point that the SWAT vehicle had to actually drive out and move away. That was when we realized that we needed to leave. You just heard that explosion there, Walter. That could be anything from tear gas or it could be something from that vehicle that's currently on fire that just made a loud noise. So at this point, they're still trying to get under control the intersection, which is on the north side of City Hall. As you can see, there are people that are walking around, um, and there's some people that honestly, Walter, didn't even think that there was a protest going around. They're just going from point A to point B. And there's other people that were part of the protest. But there's two distinctions of the people that were part of this protest today. Because earlier today, we were at both of them, one at City Hall, one at the Art Museum. And both were largely peaceful with people carrying signs. There were anti-police sentiments throughout them, both obviously because that is the narrative that is coming out of what happened in Minneapolis. And so a number of pe people did have signs and were saying things of that nature. Um, but things really didn't turn ugly until just after 3 o'clock after that art museum event. And that's when a number of protesters started to walk north on Broad Street, but they hit the Vine Street area. And you could tell that police were trying to prevent them from getting onto 676, which is a major highway, which is also controlled by Pennsylvania State Police. Both law enforcement agencies were able to block people from getting onto that highway. They were successful in doing that, but at the same time, that's when two different cruisers were set on fire. And people were actually trying to climb the fence to then somehow jump onto the highway at that point. It was about a half hour after that that the group did converge around the MSB building, and then it was shortly before 5 o'clock that within just 5, 10 minutes, Walter, things went bad very quickly. And that is when we saw that more police had to be pulled in here. Now we're seeing a number of police all around City Hall. Paxton and I are now walking here. Um, we're able to see some of the statues and some more of the smoke along with that other vehicle that is on fire. It appears that the two vehicles seem to be straddling the apron around City Hall. So there's one vehicle that's on fire on North Broad Street and then there's another vehicle that's on fire on JFK Boulevard. And so we're getting a little bit of a closer look now as Paxton and does creep up there. And you can see the amount of people. There's still a lot of people that are standing around. Like I said, some people that are just walking upon this and then the people that were actually part of this. I don't know if any arrests have been made at all. I think that the goal for police was to try to keep people back. 
Um, I don't even know if they were able to be at the point where they were able to detain people. Now that we're walking up here, Walter, we can see that it's really the same number of people that Paxton and I saw before we walked away from this scene. They are there in the center of the MSB building where a lot of those big sculptures are near the Rizzo statue. I think I just heard you say, Walter, that the Rizzo statue um, may not have been set on fire, but it did look like they were trying to at least vandalize it to some point. So Paxton, I'm just gonna walk, watch your back right here. Um, as he moves up there, you can again see, Walter, what a view this is right here. This is not what we want people to see of the city of Philadelphia. As you can see, that fire there, that car fire raging on right now. I don't see any firefighters right now at this point. Um, I don't know if that's something that they're trying to bring in. Um, I don't want to give bad information, but I don't have an aerial view to see exactly um, what apparatus are even able to get into this area at this point. I do see two police cruisers. I see a number of police officers on bikes. I see the strike force out here, and I know that they are doing their best to try to keep this under control, but there are still just so many people that remain out here. So at this point, we don't have any word on if there are any injuries to people. Again, we only know about property damage and that's from what we're seeing. Um, I don't wanna keep repeating it, but you can't really miss that car that's on fire right there, right in front of City Hall right now. That seems to be where it is just totally engulfed in flames. Um, the one across the street is still going as well, uh, but not with as much black smoke. So right now you can see definitely that there's a little bit of a disbursement of people i can tell you that it was still about 100 people deep down to where i am right now um, when we left here around five o'clock so i know that there was a number of people that were running away from the scene and walter again you know i want to talk about earlier today i want to talk about what we saw at city hall um, which is where they had a kneel in where they decided to kneel for eight minutes and 46 seconds that is the amount of time um, that according to abc news reports um, that they do believe that that officer's knee was on the neck of george floyd and so that is why they chose eight minutes and 46 seconds to kneel um, to kneel today and then they went ahead to the art museum and that event again was largely peaceful everything went off the rails just after three o'clock and right now this is the scene in philadelphia we are hoping that this is getting under control at some point again we are going to be out here and we will, of course give you the very latest as we learn more information about how they're trying to get a hold of this situation here in the city of philadelphia i'm live in center city anyway